Welcome to this Excel Start short video on how to save and reuse the settings of an analysis in Excel Start. Firstly, go to the menu Options to enable the Advanced option. Show the Advanced buttons in the dialog boxes. Save this change and close the Option dialog box. Start to do your analysis as usual. Here we set up a principal component analysis. Start by selecting the data to analyze. It corresponds to the columns B to G of the dataset. The data format is a table of observations by variables. Select the Pearson N option for the PCA type. The selection contains the variable labels so leave that option ticked. Finally, add the observation labels and mark the column A, which is filled with the sample identification. The results will be displayed in a new sheet. In the option tab, set that six components should be computed, which correspond to the maximum number of factors. Do not change the settings neither in the Supplementary Data tab, nor in the Missing Data tab. In the tab Outputs, unselect the results that are not needed in this case of routine analysis. For the charts, leave all three plots selected. All the parameters are set. Save the settings before launching the analysis. Simply click on the red button at the bottom of the dialog box. In the dialog box that opens, you are asked to provide a name to save the settings. Use a name easy to remember. Here we call it PCA for Recipe 1. When you save it, the analysis is launched. Click Continue to go on with the computations. To get the plots for factor 1 and 2 that are pre-selected, click Select. To also generate the charts for factor 3 and 4, change the abscissa and ordinate settings. And click on Select. Finally, click on Done to display the plots. We will not study the results in details, but just examine the by-plots. You can see that all the samples are nicely distributed around the center of the charts. This is as expected, as we await little variation in this process data. Now we are going to apply the same settings for a new PCA analysis on a new dataset. We go to the second workbook and open the PCA dialog box. Click on the blue button at the bottom of the dialog box. This button is used to load the previously saved settings for this dialog box from a file. Look for the file PCA for Recipe 1 that you just saved. When you select it, the analysis is launched. Click on Continue to proceed to the calculations. Repeat the procedure for selecting the charts to display and click on Done. You obtain the exact same type of results. Here again, let's focus on the byplots. On the byplot for factor 1 and 2, you can notice the presence of a sample deviating from the rest of the group. Sample 13 is probably an outlier. This can be due to a surplus of ingredient 1. To conclude this tutorial, here is what you should remember. Firstly, enable the Advanced option. Show the Advanced buttons in the dialog boxes. Then, save the settings before launching the analysis by clicking on the red button. Finally, when doing a new analysis, Upload the settings by clicking on the blue button. 
Thank you for watching this video.